a karmic wants to make peace with you. Until debt tears apart. This could be with regards to contracts, career commitments, Saturn, Saturn energy. There could have been some kind of issues going on because of something with uh, debt or contracts or commitments, career. They're, this karmic is finding out they're having some kind of reality check. This could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Could be a fire sign. Self-care, energy. This came out sideways. Top of the deck, masculine. This could be a masculine karmic that wants to make peace with you. They could be struggling with their self-care or this is somebody that's been trying to block your self-care. Stability, harmony, flow. They just want harmony with you now. They just want peace. Some y'all could be doing some kind of yoga exercises, something like that. Something here with flexibility. Triggers. Name, car, place. Some kind of triggers. Love. Somebody could be triggered by something with love. Adore, admire, enchantment. Some of y'all could be raining in your area. Ascension. This is a karmic that was trying to block your spiritual path or trying to block or stop your awakening. They were trying to stop you from ascending. It's because they didn't want to ascend. Now, they're thinking differently now. They're trying to ascend too or they're having to, they're being forced to have to ascend. This could be karmic debts. Like they could have been triggered with something with your love life. This person has a blocked heart chakra, joy reversed. They don't have much joy in their life. Joy is the highest energy of all, it is the magical sense that everything is possible. Joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment. Joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments at their highest possible levels. This person is unhappy. That's why they were trying to block all this stuff for you. Their heart chakra is blocked. Love is the heart of the matter. Your heart is the center within your physical being attuned most to love. It's safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart. 
as we stand by with perfect protection and guidance this person could have a hard time opening up their heart or they're they felt unlucky with regards to love heart emotions feelings it could be something from their past they see you focusing on the stability harmony being in the flow energy they want to do that too Conflicted reverse healing possibilities. They free spirited adventure risks. Something with possibilities. They know you're not conflicted. They know you're very determined to do your healing, releasing, cleansing, purifying, so you can be a free spirit. Okay, you're paying off karmic debts. This is karmic debts. You was learning karmic lessons with whoever this is. This was a karmic connection. Could have been a karmic friendship. They know they got to do the same thing. They know they got to focus on this healing too. Saturn is forcing them too, it looks like. Dang. I know a lot of y'all are like, wow. goddess of fates reversed this was somebody that was possibly trying to control your fate 42 they was trying to block off some kind of wisdom goddess of wisdom reversed they didn't want you having some kind of wisdom Spirit says God is forcing them to make peace with you, actually. God's forcing this karmic to make peace with you. The collective, we have to get out of these energies. We have to get out of all this chaos type of stuff. This, this warfare stuff. The vibration is, is raising for the collective. Forgive. This karma wants you to forgive them. Tranquility, peaceful mind and heart, freedom from the past. Yeah, I'm hearing go about your way or something. Y'all are about to move on and stuff from each other. Go about your way. You're already on your spiritual path. This karmic is about to start theirs for the first time. You're about to be a free spirit now. Adventure risk. Be a Sagittarius. Yeah, this is strong Sagittarius energy. Face your fears. Release the power of fear. This karmic has been a fear with something with your ascension and spiritual path. Something with your healing and love. They've been triggered by it. They've been scared, it looks like, to transform. To change. This person was trying to blindfold you with something. The planets, it's something with the planets. Saturn energy, yeah. There's a whole bunch of planets and stuff on this card, too. It's time. Six of Swords, Hierophant, Ace of Swords. Yep. Yeah. God is, is doing something. God let whoever this karmic is, like, they got to, 
They got to obey. Obedience is what I'm hearing. They got to obey high honor. This karmic has to move on from all that BS. God is not playing with this karmic. Something was illuminated. Y'all are about to be moving on from each other, though, in peace, making peace. There's about to be calmer waters. You guys are going to be a lot more, um, have a lot of mental harmony, more mental stability. Empress. This could be about an empress or something about love. Lovers. Uh, yeah, unity. The collective is um, moving towards like unity, love. Love is the highest vibration. That's what we're moving towards. You guys, sorry. I got somebody that keeps calling me. So... I believe the video stopped after the lovers, Empress, lovers, three wands came out and six of cups reverse. Some feminine could have found something out is what spirit was telling me. Somebody's about to be in the three of wands and do something, go somewhere, travel, expand their horizons. God is making, God is making sure that this karmic has to leave the past behind. They kept repeating past karmic cycles. They was abusing you guys or something or emotional abuse, something like that. Knights of Pentacles, this karmic has to mature too and be stable focus on stability they have to obey obey they have to obey obedience they have to obey god there's something here about a commitment or a marriage or something with some contracts this could be a, a love contract somebody could be moving to a home or something like that or their location we're going on some kind of business travel. Someone's about to be going somewhere where they feel more comfortable or something. Page of Pentacles. This could be something about like a new job. You could be getting ready to go somewhere, get a new job or something or relocate. There's something new. This could be something about a child or someone young. I feel like there's a newer type of um, commitment or something. Something that someone learned. Someone learned something. This karmic is learning something. Four cups reverse judgment. They're under judgment. It's the last judgment. Somebody's choosing the next uh they're choosing their next life path. This karmic has to awaken and focus on ascension. Cause that's what they see some lovers doing. They see a soulmate. They see some soulmates doing that. Especially these masculines, these divine masculines are focusing on their ascension. That's what's been triggering a lot of these karmics. It's one thing, it's usually the empresses or the divine feminines that start the, the healing process and all that. And then the masculines, the divine masculines follow along and start doing that. So both of y'all are, are divine feminine and divine masculine been doing that. Now this karmic... They see they gotta obey God and do the same, basically. They've been in this four cups energy, stagnant, depressed, not changing, unhappy, no joy, blocked heart chakra, not open up to love, rejecting love opportunities or opportunities to be happy, possibly been in debt or in some karmic debts.
Seven of Cups, Three of Swords, The Sun. There's been some kind of illusions. Someone's been in some kind of illusions for a long time. Or they were trying to spin illusions for a very long time. But now it's like the truth is out. Something came out to light and now it's just time to be happy. Just period. It's time to be in a high vibrational energy. Someone has to face the bitter truth and move on and start working on their own healing. They've been trying to confuse these soulmates. They've been trying to confuse a divine masculine and a divine feminine. But God is like, no, that's, that's enough. Oh, they're trying to block or stop a reconciliation. Pineapple, this hit fate. They've been trying to control these 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 soulmates' is fate. These soulmates are about to reconcile or going through a reconciliation right now. They're free spirits now. Yeah, love ascension. It's the end of a, a very very tough karmic cycle. What else, Holy Spirit? Rooster. An arrogant, boastful person, you should not cross. You should accept valid criticism. Cup. Younger man. Dealings or relationship with a younger man. Ladder. Climbing towards success. This could be a, a man that works on a ladder or is on a ladder often. And casket, someone going out of your life or the end of your situation. Yeah, it's the end. Pluto. This could be a Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Libra. There is no stopping a reconciliation. Show us this reconciliation, Holy Spirit. They was trying to block your vision. Sun and Pisces reversed. This could be a Sun and Pisces. Or something could be happening. There's going to be possibly a reconciliation uh, by the time the Sun goes into Pisces. So like February, March time. That's the 12th house. That's the very end. Some cycle is about to end. This could be a karmic that was using magic to control something or stop a union or reconciliation. They didn't want you guys to see something or see through some illusions. They wanted y'all stuck in the three of cups. That's what they was constantly doing or trying to create. Okay, somebody's about to go towards a uh, soulmate. That's what they're about to do. And the karmic has to let them. Yeah, Sun and Libra, harmony. Love, seventh house is love, harmony, contracts, agreements, compromise, balance, peace truth there's a masculine on this card y'all could be a libra something could be happening around libra season mm -hmm. they have to leave you alone and just let you all be in peace and be happy together This karmic knows they cannot stop something with some soulmates or twin flames. They can't cause any more stagnations. They can't pause something for any longer. They can't um, keep you guys on a break or something or broken up any longer. And they know that high honor is forcing them to focus on self-love, healing, self-concern, self-healing, independence. Yeah, they have to do that. 
Some of y'all could have a 12 year old. Somebody in this energy is 43. Some of you guys, this could be someone you don't even know. Someone is hating on you because a tower or eruption has occurred in their life. So this could be, a, this is a karmic going through a tower. Final nail in the coffin. Someone is incredibly stressed. Yeah. Final nail in the coffin. This could be a karmic you're living with or staying at their house. Somebody could have not have had a father growing up. So I'm getting with that. Final nail in the coffin. Show us this Holy Spirit. Eight of Swords reversed. You're getting free. You could have been in some kind of like mental prison, mental cage in fear, or somebody was uh, using magic, binding magic to hold on to you. Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups. Somebody's about to communicate. Someone's planning to communicate to you or confront you or speak out. They're gonna tell you how they feel or tell you what's on their heart. Yeah, there's going to be some kind of like emotional, direct kind of talk or something like that. This could be involving something with someone's love life. Someone's going to speak or have a conversation and then like it's going to lead to someone taking action in regards to love. Possibly to reconcile. Yeah, Ten of Swords reversed. After this final nail in the coffin, somebody's about to do something and speak. Yeah, Magician. Somebody's manifesting something with lovers. They're manifesting something with a soulmate. Oh, an Emperor. There's gonna be a conversation For a long, long time, somebody's been trying to keep something blocked or stop something. Someone's been trying to maintain control over something for a long time. But now, God is intervening. Yeah, four cups reverse. It's time for everybody to be happy and work on themselves. Eight of Pentacles, yeah. It's time to do the inner work. It's time for this karmic over. All the karmics in the world have to do their inner work, basically. 